Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today, it's time to call Saul, with Better Call Saul. The episode, not the show, I, <laughs> I have to express that because I'm not talking about the show, at least not yet. But anyway, this is, this episode is great, I'm, <laughs> this episode feels like a goddamn roller coaster with everything that happens in it. So, to give a bit of a plot, of course. So the episode starts off with Badger doing a bit of a drug meth deal with some random guy. And Badger's like, you better not be a cop. I'm not. Alright, here's the stuff. Boom, bitch, I am a cop. Get Uno reversed. And Badger is arrested. And then Hank and the rest of the DEA boys, which by the way, Hank, after the last episode, is sent home from El Paso. And he's dealing with a lot of shit. Walter comes in, gives him a pep talk, gives him a pat on the back. Get and, get and and Hank gets back out there, but they call in Hank and his boys, and now they are constantly just at Badger's throat, pretty much asking them spill the beans on Heisenberg, and obviously for Walter and Jesse that's really bad, so Badger hires the ha hires a district attorney to help him, and that district attorney is one Saul Goodman. So, like I said, I really liked this episode. Like, Bob, I'm just going to say, Bob Odenkirk, they could not have gotten any man better to do Saul Goodman. I know that that's probably been said by so many people who has reviewed the, either this show or Better Call Saul. But seriously, you probably could have not gotten a man better to do. Because as soon as he comes on screen, he immediately hits you with his presence. And the fact that he makes... Admittedly, funny, jo bad jokes, but they're still funny. Like, the jokes he makes are, like, are funny, but they're not, like, the most clever stuff. There's, but they still end up being funny somehow. No! Damn it, impromptu camera reset. Sorry about that. My camera fell. So, yeah, now you're getting this angle. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and I'm not editing that out. Anyway. So. Like I said, Bob Odenkirk immediately makes his presence known as this character of Saul Goodman. And people liked this character so much that he got his own spinoff show that actually ran longer than Breaking Bad. So, yeah. People really like Saul Goodman, if that wasn't <laughs> the ca already in question. And, yeah. It's just, he's such a good character. He's so damn funny. And, and uh, we're going to see more of him as well. But by the end of the episode, so, let's go into the ending of the episode. So, so, Walter and Jesse decide to kidnap Saul and, and force him to help them. But, but which Saul does help them and he, and even sparks up a deal with Walter at the end the episode to help but so so Saul gives them a fall man to use to help get Badger out of prison that being if the only way Badger can get out of this arrest issue and not go to jail is if he helps the pr helps the police and the DEA get take Heisenberg down so, Saul gives Walter a fall man to act as a fake Heisenberg to help to get Badger out. Which, the plan goes off without a hitch. Except, somehow, another, another man who has the exact same description that Badger gave to Hank about who Heisenberg is sits right next to him when the real person's supposed to show up. And, I know it doesn't... It sounds dumb, but that's just absolutely hilarious. And then Walter has to distract Hank at, while Jesse's going to tell Badger that he's on the he's with the wrong guy. So Walter has to distract Hank, and it's it's so good, it's so funny. And like I said at the end, Saul figures out who the real Heisenberg is, being of course Walter. Finding him later grading tests at his at the school, and where 
where Saul sparks up a deal with Walter saying that he'll act as their lawyer and will help get some, help them get out of stiff shit if they need it. And yeah, that is the plot of Better Call Saul. The episode, not the show. So yeah, I loved this episode. Tone-wise, it's very different from the previous episodes. But I think that's what makes it so good. Like, it's very much more an episode that isn't as serious as the previous one. Like, there are serious moments, like I said, Walter talking to Hank, giving him that pep talk to get him back out there. After you, well, I mean, you know, seeing two people get fucking exploded and another man losing his leg, so I think that's fair enough. Uh, but, um, it's just. Man, I don't even know what to say. This episode is it's so damn good. It's hilarious. And. Again, Saul Goodman is such a funny character with his on the nose jokes and it's just it's so good, man. So yeah. All in all, man, I'm probably going to give Better Call Saul, the episode, not the show, the a for the first time on Time to Cook, a 10 out of 10. This is probably a perfect if not near perfect episode. But yeah, there you go. Later today, I'll have my you will be getting Episode, season 2 episode 9 which I for, didn't forgot the title of but sorry about that I didn't get the two out yesterday I had a massive headache I couldn't really do much of anything yesterday but I'm back and I'm fine and we will be and time to cook will be resuming as normal sorry for that day skip I just had a headache and I couldn't really deal with it but anyway I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye